last year at this time we were talking about uh, people who had passed away. Just over a year ago, Utah Homeless Coordinator Wayne Niederhauser announced the deaths of at least five unsheltered people in Salt Lake, likely from the cold. And I told myself at that time, I don't want to be standing at a pulpit again talking about um, people are passing away uh, as a result of our lack of capacity. He says lawmakers got to work to expand shelter capacity so that hopefully no more lives were lost. Valley Behavioral Health is one of seven locations in Salt Lake County that expands its capacity when it's 15 degrees or lower for those experiencing homelessness. That's under a new law called Code Blue. Compared to last winter, there are 600 more winter overflow beds and an additional 235 beds available for those code blue extreme temperatures. We've had a full, uh, a full church every night. In fact, we've turned away 40 to 50 people. This is Executive Director of Unsheltered Utah, Wendy Garvin, who says the extra beds have made a difference. But with this expanded capacity, now we have the option to drive people over to other sites and offer them beds there. She says the nearly full code blue shelters are dispelling the myth that there are shelter resistant people. It's also showing us that that in fact people will come to shelter if we give them that option. And I think that's a really important piece of this learning that we're doing right now. She says if it helps people during freezing temperatures, why not have expanded capacity year round to give people stability and therefore make it easier for them to get long term housing. The willingness of people to access these sites shows a need for a more permanent facility. And I think if we had if we had enough beds to match the winter capacity that we're showing, um, we would we would get people into housing more rapidly. I asked Niederhauser about keeping these shelters at a higher capacity permanently. He says that is the ultimate goal, but right now there's a lack of funding and volunteers. He says that will be a top priority discussed on the Hill at this upcoming legislative session. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.